What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar show for Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs by Billie Eilish that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you want to know for Bad Guy is that we're going to be in standard tuning and we are not going to need a capo to play this song. The next thing we usually go over is the structure of this song. We're actually just going to repeat the same picking pattern throughout the entire song. So we don't need to worry about the structure. And the last thing we would usually go over is chords, but we're actually, again, just going to play a picking pattern through the entire song. So again, we don't need to worry about chords. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Bad Guy. Man, Bad Guy is so cool, and it has this cool bass line that just repeats throughout the entire song. So that's what we're going to be learning. It's just that little bass line that repeats through the whole song. Now, this is originally done on a bass guitar, right? So that whole line that repeats through the whole song, it's done on a bass, not a regular acoustic or electric guitar. But what's cool about that, if you don't know, is that bass guitars are the same as the top four strings of your acoustic or electric guitars. Tune the same way as a standard tuned electric or acoustic guitar top four strings. So that means that whatever you learn in this lesson for this little picking pattern, you can also apply to a bass guitar and it'll play the same way and it'll actually sound a little bit more accurate to the song because it'll be that lower octave. Same notes, it's just for bass, it'll be that lower octave. So with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into this and break this little picking pattern down. So again, we have this picking pattern that's going to repeat through the entire song and we're going to break it down into three parts. First part is going to look like this. We're going to have a low E third fret and a first fret on the A string. And we're going to kind of keep those there and go back and forth. So what that'll look like, our first little section here is going to go third low E, third low E, first A, third low E, little bit of a space there. And we're going to go third low E, third low E, then a tiny little space again. And we're going to go third low E, first A, third low E, first low E. And that's it for that section, and we're going to repeat that twice. So we're going to play that same thing, that whole thing there, two times. And again, one thing I didn't mention, I'm actually doing finger picking on this because I think it sounds cool and it kind of adds that little bit of a lower muffled note that a bass would have. But you can actually play this with a pick as well. It's totally up to you. I just am playing it because I like that because I think it sounds cooler. And I also think it's a little easier to show you and you guys see a little bit better what I'm doing over here. So that's our first section right there. We play that first section twice. So one time really quick through that, one more time explained, we're going to go third low E, third low E, first A, third low E, a little pause, third low E, third low E, little pause, third low E, first A, third low E, first low E. That's our first section. We repeat that twice. From there, we're going to drop down, same shape, we're going to drop down, we're going to have a third A and a first D, and what we're going to do there is we're going to go third A, third A, first D, third A, little space, third A, third A, little space, third A, first D, third A, and then open G, that's a little bit different. But that's that pattern right there. We're only going to play that one once. And then we're going to slide this shape up two frets to where we're on fifth of the A string and third of the D string. And we're going to go fifth A, fifth A, third D, fifth A, little pause. And then we're going to go fifth A, fifth A, fifth A. And that is it, guys. That's your whole picking pattern right there. We just played that last section once, by the way. That's it. That's the whole thing right there. That's your whole entire picking pattern for the entire song. Just repeated over and over and over and over and over again. So one more quick time walking all the way through that, not really breaking it up into sections, all the way through the picking pattern. One time more explained before we play through it. We'll look about like this. We're going to go third low E, third low E, first A, third low E, little pause, third low E, third low E, little pause, Third low E, first A, third low E, first low E. We repeat that section again. Third low E, third low E, first A, third low E, little pause. Third low E, third low E, little pause. Third low E, first A, third low E, first low E. Next section, we go third A, third A, first D, third A, little pause. Third A, third A, little pause, third A, 
first D, third A, open G, and then we go up here, slide up to the next section, we go fifth A, fifth A, third D, fifth A, little pause, and then fifth A, fifth A, fifth A. And that is it, guys. That is going to repeat through the entire song, that little picking pattern right there, all the way through the entire song. Again, you don't have to finger pick that. I just think it sounds a little bit better if you do, but it is totally up to you. So with all that in mind, guys, I'm going to play through that once very slowly so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And then I'll play through it a couple of times full speed so you can match it up with the speed of the song. Slowly should look about like this. And guys, a couple of times full speed through the picking pattern that will repeat all the way through Bad Guy will look about like this. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play bad guy on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 660 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what songs I'm jamming on today or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram story at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, bad guy is such a cool song. Song. I love songs with just like a killer bass line that drives the song, and that's exactly what Bad Guy is. Now again, as I stated in the lesson, this song is originally played on bass guitar. So if you're playing it on regular guitar, it's gonna have, it's gonna be an octave higher, so it's gonna sound a little bit higher. It's all the right notes, it's just gonna be an octave higher. So if you want to play this on bass, if you have a bass, you can apply the same exact notes, the same exact picking, tabs, the whole thing to bass and it'll sound the same but in that lower octave which will match up better to the song. So super fun song to play, very very cool. That peaking progression seems really intimidating and it is a little bit fast but it's not crazy hard. You don't have to make any kind of crazy stretches or anything like that. You just kind of have to get a groove on where your fingers need to go and when. That way like once you practice it a couple of times because it is fast, it'll be a little tricky at first but once you get it down a few times and you kind of like fall into a rhythm a little bit with it, you'll have a blast playing this. It's so fun and it's cool because it's again once you get it down once you just repeat the same thing through the whole entire song. It's a blast to play. I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.